Did you know that it's possible to buy a true RMS digital multimeter for less than $10 delivered? Well, this I just had to see. Hello there, everyone. You've tuned in UXW Bill, and here it is, the Victor VC921 True RMS Digital Multimeter, yours for less than $10 shipped if you shop around and shop carefully. It's a pretty amazing price. You've got to wonder how they do it. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but first let's take a look at the outer casing of the meter and see what you get for your money. The meter comes to you in a clamshell style case, which might be kind of handy if your multimeters tend to lead hazardous lives. It might save the display from being unfortunately smashed if something happens to fall on it. Here on the back, there are a couple of things worth noting. There is a warning discussing how to use the multimeter in a safe fashion. And while it might perhaps be wishful thinking on my part, there is a shiny reflective sticker with the Victor name printed on it that, to my way of thinking at least, would suggest that this multimeter had been subjected to some sort of a quality control and calibration routine before it left the factory. Then there is the serial number, and rounding out the features on the back, we have not only a battery cover, but also a battery cover with a retaining screw. Kind of surprising to see something like that at this price point. But it does help ensure that when someone goes to change the batteries on this meter, that they might think about disconnecting the test leads before they do so, so that they don't have a shocking experience. And speaking of the batteries, while it certainly might vary depending upon what portion of the world you live in, this particular meter came to me with batteries included in the package. They're the usual no-name Asian types, but they should work more than well enough until such time as they run down. They'll probably last pretty well. Most multimeters don't consume an awful lot of power to do what they do. We'll go ahead and open up the clamshell, take a look at what you get here. While you can stand the meter up on its clamshell case, it's not tremendously stable when you do so, and I would personally recommend against it, especially as the test leads are both of short and permanently attached, which might lead to the multimeter falling over and causing you to become startled, maybe even touching a set of electrical contacts, or using the meter in the incorrect range of operation. If you plan to buy one of these meters, there is something that you should very definitely be aware of. There are two very different meters that are sold under this exact model number, general style of design, and brand name. Only one of them is the true RMS type. And this is important for not one, but two reasons. First of all, a true RMS multimeter enables you to measure AC sources that do not output a nice sinusoidal waveform, such as your utility power. If you're working with most computer grade uninterruptible power supplies, or you happen to be working with DC to AC power inverters, most of the less expensive types output modified sine wave AC waveforms. And these will cause a regular average responding multimeter not to work correctly. It'll give you the wrong voltage indication. The true RMS multimeter does not suffer from that problem. But there is another reason why, even if you don't need that capability, you might want the true RMS version of this multimeter, and that has to do with the fact that the integrated circuit powering this thing is highly modifiable. Not only is there also, and not only is there a tremendous amount of unused capability within this multimeter, there is also the opportunity to hack it. The parameters that it uses to govern its operation are stored in a read-only memory chip that can be reprogrammed to add more counts, to enable more functions, and also to enable a hidden data logging capability. Yes, folks, this is another one of those multimeters whose integrated circuit controller has the ability to function as a data logging multimeter over an RS-232 serial connection made to a waiting computer. And the software is readily available to do this, but Victor did not make use of that functionality in this model. You could, however, add it yourself if you wanted to do so. That's not the only unused capability that this multimeter has. There are other functions available on this unit that are not available from the front panel controls. 
If one was to open the battery compartment, and I apologize for not doing this on video, but right now I don't actually have a screwdriver to hand so I could open it, you would find that there are two unutilized, unpopulated contact pads that are just visible from within the battery compartment. One of them does nothing when shorted, but the other one enables a data hold function. That is to say that the current reading will be frozen on the display and maintained even if you disconnect the test leads so that you can examine it further without having the circuit actively actually hooked up to the multimeter itself. So all of this is very wonderful. The liquid crystal display also hints at an enormous amount of unutilized functionality. When I turn it on, you will see that quite a few characters light up representing test ranges that this meter does not have. And if you want, I would highly encourage you to pause the video so that you can get an idea of what is supported but not utilized on this particular model. Go ahead and turn it on right now. And if you want to see that again, here it is again. But for the test ranges that you do get, it's everything you would expect. There's DC voltage, AC voltage, diode test, continuity with buzzer, ohms resistance, continuity check, a capacitor test, and a hertz or duty cycle setting. A very good selection of settings for an inexpensive multimeter such as this. Unfortunately, despite all of this thing's awesome capability, there is a rather serious drawback, and this is the reason why you might not want to buy one. Something has to give to make this unit cost less than $10 shipped, and unfortunately, that something is safety. There isn't even so much as a fuse inside of this unit. No MOVs, no thermistors, nothing. If you accidentally hook this thing up to a voltage source on the continuity testing range, I expect that it is going to blow up sky high. And given its low cost, it may actually fail in a dangerous manner to the end user. It could explode, it could catch fire. It's really, really unfortunate. And it's a shame because otherwise this multimeter, it's accurate. The true RMS capability really works. I did test it. Unfortunately, I don't have an inverter with me right now to prove that to you. Everything works. It seems accurate. But alas, there are no safety functions built into it, and there aren't even the points on the circuit board where a person could add them. At least there aren't in this particular example. I suspect that even though this is sold under a recognizable brand name, you have to look around, but the company does have a website, that this is yet another one of those Chinese products that is widely cloned and produced by a wide variety of manufacturers. They may design the circuit boards differently. So it's great that this has true RMS capability. It's great that it's incredibly hackable, but unfortunately, it's just not safe to use if you're ever going to be absent-minded and make a mistake. And we all make mistakes, but those mistakes shouldn't be fatal. I don't know if anyone from the Victor Multimeter Company will ever see this video, but I would say to them, you have a great product here. You have the start of a great product here. But let's, let's make it cost a little bit more. Let's make it cost, say, $20 or $30. It would still be a tremendous bargain at that price, but put some proper safety functionality into place. Everyone, I'd like to thank you for watching this little review video. Certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one.